The secret to Reese Witherspoon's gorgeous hair. At the end of this routine, my hair needs to be silky. I've never heard of this before. The legally blonde routine. Hola, gente. What is up, my people? Welcome to another video where we put to the test celebrity hair care routines. We've already tested out Kim Kardashian's, Chloe's, Kylie Jenner's, Jennifer Aniston's, Kourtney Kardashian's. Yeah, pretty much all the Kardashian sisters. I think we're just missing Kendall, and that one is coming. And we've also tested out JLo's and Tati Westbrook's favorite hair masks. This series has been super fun and you guys seem to be really enjoying it. For those of you who missed any of those videos, they are going to be linked right here in the eye at the corner. And today, as you can probably guess by the title of this video, we're going to be testing out Reese Witherspoon's aka our legally blonde hair care routine in which I spend this much and even though I couldn't find a detailed description of what she does I did find many of her hair care recommendations which led me to today's three-step hair care routine every single source is going to be linked in the description box below so as always the goal of this type of videos is to figure out whether the hair care products that celebrities recommend to us um, actually work and let me tell you my expectations are through the roof with this hair care routine for a couple of reasons the first one being that she is blonde and she's been blonde for such a long time her hair always seems to be in a great condition she doesn't seem to wear wigs or anything like that most likely she does know a thing or two about taking care of her hair also this routine it seems very real doable not only because it's just three steps but also because the overall cost of these routine is not as exorbitant as other hair care routines we've tried before i mean don't get me wrong it's still a lot of money and now yes without further ado let's get on with the first step which is of course the shampoo this is by virtue labs and let me tell you reese is definitely not the only celebrity that is raving about this brand actually so is jennifer garner this is the 60 ml or two fluid ounce bottle i highly recommend when you're just testing a product out for the first time that you go for the smaller sizes if you can especially if the products are not like drugstore priced and in my case of course it has to do with the fact that i test out so many hair care products honestly when i see this little ones i go for them this is the virtue recovery shampoo which promises to clean replenish and nourish the hair and its highlighted ingredient which makes it stand out from other shampoos is alpha carotene and i guess partially because the brand is associated with these two celebrities it's getting tons of really really good Press. I mean, some articles have even described virtual hair care as miraculous, which is a, quite a huge claim, right? So on this article in particular, it talks about the defreezing power of highlights that the unique twist of this product is precisely the fact that it contains a hair derived keratin called alpha keratin 60 ku discovered in a lab while researching regenerative medicine methods promising to seal repair hair damage due to heat and coloring which clearly is my case so let's go ahead and jump into the shower and test this one out first thing that's quite unique about this shampoo is its texture actually both its texture and its color reminded me a lot of milk caramel or dulce de leche that was definitely a first even though in the instructions it specifically says one should massage into a rich 
leather. I was not able to. In fact, I did go in once again with a little bit more product just to be sure it was not something I was doing wrong. And I wouldn't call what I obtained a rich leather. But honestly, to me, it is just fine. I don't see any problems. My hair does feel squeaky clean, especially on the roots where I mostly focus on, of course, there's tons of knots in here. I think that's absolutely average of most um, shampoos. And the final thing I found really interesting is that this is so close to being fragrance free. Yeah, it doesn't smell like much at all. And look at that. Um, alpha carotene, which is the highlighted ingredient, is actually quite up in the full ingredients list. All right, so let's move on. Step two is the dip conditioner that Reese Witherspoon uses. So during my research, I stumbled upon this people.com article titled, and I quote, the secret to Reese Witherspoon's gorgeous hair is this $33 mask on Amazon. $33 is not exactly a bargain. Celebrities tend to recommend really ultra luxurious products. At least many of them do. It isn't a pleasant surprise when you see anything under 50. And we need to consider the fact that this hair mask is not made in the USA. So there are import fees and shipping and all those things to consider. So she uses this Gatukala Youth Spring Hair Mask. Let's just assume that's the way it is pronounced because I have no idea. This product is made in Israel, salt-free, sulfate-free, phosphate and paraben-free and vegan. And it is described as a setting strand mask that promises to soften and revitalize with pure carotene. So we are seeing a common denominator in this first two steps. For sure, Reese does like to have products that are high in Carotene. And what's interesting about this is according to the article, Reese actually reached out to Sandra Bullock's hairdresser because she was really concerned about having very weak and breakage prone hair. And it was actually her, Lona Vigi, that suggested she try this that I now have in my hands. How amazing is that? What she claims this did to her hair is just absolutely insane. After the very first use, the texture and quality of her hair completely changed for the better. She described it as silkier, which I mean, who doesn't want silky hair? At least I do. She also says that she loved the way this smells, so let's see if I agree. Um, okay, it actually smells good when you think about other products containing carotene um, that sometimes is not their biggest strength. They tend to be very like chemically and very potent. It's kind of hard to describe, but I would say it's more on the floral side. Definitely not unpleasant at all. So according to the instructions, this is supposed to be a fairly quick hair mask. We're talking a two to three minute exposure time. Now that said, Reese actually does treat her hair overnight sometimes. So I guess according to her, it's okay to leave it on for you know, hours, assuming she does sleep four plus hours, right? <laughs> Hopefully eight. I don't know what she does, but she does look like someone who takes her beauty sleep very seriously. So uh, what I'm gonna do is apply from root to tips, like the instruction. Girl, this hair mask is thick. <laughs> and I'm gonna say something that I think I've never said before about a hair mask. I have a lot of hair and I tend to use quite a bit of product because I like my hair to be fully saturated. And let me tell you something, a little goes a long way with this mask. I mean, look at that. I didn't really use that much product and it's because it's super, super thick. And it also spreads quite nicely considering my hair is damp. So like I said, two to three minutes should be just fine as far as exposure time if we go by the book. According to Reese, she sometimes just lets this treat her hair overnight, which would be great, but we just started um, fall and the temperature is dropping out with all the viruses going around. I don't want to get sick. Not a good idea right now, but I thought, you know, maybe I could do something kind of in between. I'm going to set the timer to two hours. Um, the second ingredient on this mask is amodimethicone, which is a silicone, not a silicone-free hair mask. So 
just FYI. I actually suggest you just go ahead and replace your conditioner with this mask. So it's supposed to be safe for frequent use. I highly recommend it for um, bleached blondes like me and Reese. And it's actually present in so many Casta's hair masks that we've tried. It also has a couple of hydrating type of alcohol. Hydrolyzed keratin is, you know, kind of in the middle of the ingredients list, which seems to be rather fair positioning of that ingredient considering it is the highlighted ingredient right here has a couple of very interesting oils like linum seed oil argania spinoza which is the famous argan oil that isn't in the for instance moroccan oil line and it also contains macadamia oil which tends to be really good and nourishing all right so i'm gonna go now i'm gonna let this do its magic hopefully transform my hair into i quote irresistibly soft to the touch strands can you tell by my smile that I really want this to to what it claims to do. Uh, see you later, alligator. And we're back. So the only thing I wanted to add based on these past two hours, the areas where my hair is fully, fully, completely saturated in this very thick mask. It's like the humidity has been sealed in. I don't know how else to explain it, but I find that very interesting in like a good way. So let's go ahead and rinse this out. Worry not, my friends, it's going to be super fast. Ta-da! All right, so all rinsed out. Wow, look at that. Um, That's what I call detangling power. It deserves a good score. I think I'm gonna give it four stars out of five when it comes to detangling. Now, um, I'm not giving it five stars because there are some tangles here at the back. So one thing I wanted to say about this hair mask is, you know, it's not a quick rinse. It's like, it takes a little bit of time and care. It smells good, it's gentle. It's it's definitely not an overpowering fragrance, which is nice. It will typically tend to please more people, I think. And now, yes, let's move on to step three. This is Davine's OI or OI, I don't know, all in one milk. It has, I've never heard of this before, Ruku oil. I'm gonna use this as a styling product. It's not really described as one. It says here it is a multi-benefit beauty treatment for all hair types. Hey, this one's made in Italy. Per tutti i tipi di capelli. Pretty international hair care routine because the shampoo is made in the US. Hair mask is made in Israel. So here's the backstory. Back in February of 2017, Reese Witherspoon curated a birch box. And this product was included in that as one of her beauty favorites. It says here, adds shine, softness, and silkiness, and has excellent detangling power. We still have some tangles. Two of the three products are promising silky results. At the end of this routine, my hair needs to be silky. Facilitates combing of dry and wet hair. Oh, it also controls the frizz just like the shampoo. So I'm guessing our beautiful Reese Witherspoon has quite frizzy hair. Gives body without weighing the hair down, has exceptional conditioning effect, and it is a heat protectant. You know what's really, really interesting about this product? is that it can be used either as a living heat protectant, styling product, or if we have to get ready super fast, this could potentially be good to replace conditioner. So I'm gonna spread this liberally. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, now I know. Sorry, I'm not a fan of this smell at all. I don't even know what it smells like. I'm gonna apply it at the back where I have some tangles to see if, it's, if it helps me detangle those areas. It's quite slippery, so it seems to be helping there. It smells a little bit like pine tree. 
but not in a good way. And now, yes, I am super ready to blow dry. I'm going to use another Italian product. This is my beloved Elgin 3900. I recommended this to one of my besties who actually lives in San Francisco. So let's see if this Davine's milk actually does help blow dry my hair. And if I have smooth, frizz-free, silky, and just wonderfully transformed Hair. Even though Reese Witherspoon tends to have her hair pretty straight, um, it always has a bit of movement. Um, sexy, voluminous blowouts with a little bit of movement. I'm not a pro, but we're gonna try to get as much into her vibe. So I'm gonna blast dry my hair at first, and then I'm gonna go in with the brush and try to give my hair a little bit of movement. Okay, okay, um, how do we feel about these results? Have we managed to channel our inner Elwoods or not? <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. I don't think this routine is for everyone. I'm going to explain exactly who I think this routine would be perfect for. I'm going to try to rate the products in order of preference um, to help you guys. That said, I'm not gonna lie, my hair does feel super super silky and smooth frizz free so those are claims that kept repeating themselves and i thought that was kind of building up my expectations and that would probably end up being a huge disappointment and i'm going to explain a little bit more in just a second i have no idea how much the virtue shampoo contributed to the final result but it is an anti-frizz product and honestly i was very pleased to meet this one because of its very rare color and texture the beans uh, milk i am dying to do kind of an isolated test of this one on its own just using it as a leaving conditioner and see what happens that said honestly i can't get over how strange this smells to me you know people think differently about fragrances if you own this could you let me know in the comments below if you find the smell really weird or maybe it's just the one i got that's faulty because it is a huge turnoff and it could be a good product, I don't know. Other than that, I'm pretty sure it has contributed to this final result. I mean, it makes sense that because it is a leaving product, it's just more obvious if it's bad because it's right there in your hair, like you don't rinse it off. So it would have made the blow drying process very strange and in fact, I think it did quite the opposite. For sure, I think that the star of Reese Witherspoon's hair care routine has to be the Gotu Cola Youth Spring Hair Mask. Actually made this whole thing worth it. You get half a kilo here, so it's double what you usually get with a Kerastase product and it's much cheaper. And the results, I mean, they're so good. So out of all these products, I'm pretty sure that I will be using this one again very soon. So with all those things in mind, so with all those things in mind, if you have um, virgin, quite straight hair that air dries beautifully and you very, very rarely blow dry your hair, this is not the routine for you, for sure. Um, because of the content, particularly of the hair treatment, keratin needs to be thermoactive so you need to put in the extra effort to blow dry your hair. And because of the high content of amodimethicone in here, that makes it an ideal routine for people with bleached hair like myself. So if you have virgin hair or are naturally blonde, you probably don't really need this product to begin with. Although I'm not saying that it's not going to give you anything. It is after all the legally blonde routine. It is not the perfect routine for blondes, uh, if you ask me. Honestly, I am surprised that Reese doesn't use Olplex. Who knows? Maybe she does. And we just haven't learned about that. And that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I find this series so entertaining, so interesting to film and to research. And it's always fun to learn something from celebrities. Please do let me know in the comment section below which other celebrity hair care routines you'd like me to test out next. 
Remember, no matter what comes your way, stay brave. You are a warrior with the heart of an angel. And I will catch up with you guys again on my next one. Ciao. Do you wanna follow? Click here.